you an, another um, epigraph. Each of the sections of this book is introduced by um, another thinker or another um, text that I was engaging with. This one um, is from Martha Langford's text, Suspended Conversation, about photograph albums. And she writes, click the shutter, click the mouse. However you choose the frame, however oiled the apparatus, there is a click, a noise, a vibration that marks the conjunction of stimulation and decision which has taken or made the photograph. This act is, and then it's over. Sound, like a photographic moment, is fugitive. As I said that a couple of times I'm thinking about images here, I'm also thinking about the materiality of language, how words materialize before us and how they dissipate or become immaterial too. And it's in those process, or it's in those moments of process when you pick up language, when you hold on to a word that has been given to you, or you've stolen, or it's appeared out of some um, unannounced ether, that um, something interesting happens. And it's, it's the noise. Um, nobody ever reads the same book, the same poem, twice, obviously. Um, and I'm reading these poems, um, I'm hesitating a little bit because I'm consciously um, breaking the way I've read this book before. I'm reading to you in a different uh, order. <laughs> Uh, dependent. One. Yellow. Bench. Looking east. Beyond. Two. Putting it back. Together. Drinking coke in a rental. While he, frantic, returns 50 years further. Losing sanctity of sound, of sense, or the like, mother, father, aunts, his voice breaks, Peter's out. Three. We, you and I, have already turned away from this north, his country, town. Four. A hog hill, tricolor flags flying broken glass, Tainted parking lots, graffiti, but whose? Five, red. Tripatriot fluidity, sorry, red. Tripartite fluidity, history to share, white, separated or lost, vehicular time gone or failing. Six, recognizing cameras, we drive by, slowly, following others, crossing with others this border blue frontier. Seven. The Gaelic escapes me. Fialti, little else. Kaylee or Kaylee from college. Eight. A hog hill, a town, a grandfather, a longing, a name. Patronymic, boy, his mother's. Nine. Call this bench a sunset. A great-grandmother, grandmother's mother, not after the minister who takes her in, takes us all in. Ten. Protestant, class, cool in this hold on reality, benching solace in momentum, yellow, not clear or sweet, whiskey. Across the street, in a bar, handwriting, just a bench, unoccupied in an occupied zone, returned to for this visit. Eleven. Yes, thank you, don't mind if I do. Accent affected, generic English, standing each other, one more, awake, woken, lost, celestials. Twelve. A son, standing here how long? Remembers Penelope, a war, a lost father, also coming home, slowly. Thirteen, Coda. Sister Molly, period. Is it wrong to think of him now, here, prepositional, coming and going, 
bloody luxury, this yellow bench, returning is leaving, spoken aloud. Okay, I'll read you one more epigraph, um, because this is my favorite one in the book. The best lines of this generation are quotations. Roger Farr. <laughs> From another line book, Surplus, actually. Um, section called Fragments, and this one is 17. What difference does a fucking line make, sonnet or haiku, who says out of turn, all eyes darting from the page out into the hall, shattered, it is later reported, confusion's a matter of reading from left to right, right to left, right, so why is it that someone's always getting the let out too quick, meaning no money down, get out of town in the nick of time too quick, another time, place maybe, but just the same old vocative, still smart, who says who can be sure when pressed, what surely happens, happens. Remember her old friend, the wheel speaking again like before, last time though, each line came out exactly the same, they checked the length and guess who wound up stuck in the middle or so it was spoken with a brilliant goose down quilt that kept right on ticking frost on the window and the city just off or just below the scope of the horizon. All depends on which way a friar might choose to play it, top down or a bit closer to God with thee. Uh, that was a series of 14 haiku run together like a sonnet. <laughs>